People who worry about every little thing or fret too much cannot live their lives easily. Worry is like a termite that slowly eats away at a person from the inside. We tend to worry when we fear losing something. Whenever a person achieves success in life, they gradually become arrogant, either knowingly or unknowingly. They start to exhibit pride and conceit, and sometimes, it grows so much that they flaunt it to everyone. Other times, it remains hidden, but it still resides within them. Occasionally, in their arrogance, they forget how to communicate with people, big or small. Their ego becomes so inflated that they fail to understand anyone else. They start considering themselves superior and think they know everything. They start disrespecting others and consider them inferior. Loses their sense of right and wrong. On the other hand, when someone faces defeat, they feel disappointment and sadness. They become deeply troubled in their lives, and their thoughts become chaotic. All their hopes are shattered, and they become so distraught that they start feeling hopeless. They give up on life, and after facing every challenge, they no longer have the courage to stand up again. But what if you find a solution, a mantra that prevents you from becoming arrogant or despondent in both situations? If such a mantra or remedy is available to you, can anyone stop you from succeeding? In today's story, I will share with you a solution to both of these problems. You will discover a remedy, a mantra that will help you overcome these situations. So, listen to this story till the end. In a city, there lived a wealthy merchant who had a vast business empire spread across many states. The merchant was very wealthy, and he treated everyone with kindness. All the traders and customers were happy with him, and no one spoke ill of him. However, the merchant was so engrossed in his business that he never had time for himself. He was always focused on his trade, neglecting his spiritual growth. He neither meditated nor engaged in any religious practices. He had no time for any of these things, which left him deeply troubled. The merchant knew the universal truth that in life, you cannot always gain or lose anything you desire. When death comes, you cannot take anything with you, everything remains here. Realizing this, the merchant invited scholars and saints to his house for a meal. During the meal, he shared his predicament with them. He said, I am facing a great dilemma. I am so entangled in my business that I have no time to study scriptures, Upanishads, or big religious texts. I request all of you to provide me with a solution or a mantra that encompasses all the knowledge of these scriptures and texts, so I can gain their wisdom without spending time reading them. I will reward the person who offers me such a solution. The scholars and saints accepted his request and began studying the scriptures, Upanishads, and large religious texts. They tried to find a solution by studying those texts, searching for a mantra or remedy that encapsulated all the knowledge within them, something that could summarize all the scriptures in one line. They made great efforts day and night but couldn't find such a mantra that could encompass all the teachings in a single line. Finally, after extensive research, one scholar went to the merchant and said, We have tried very hard, we've studied all the scriptures, and we've sorted through all the big texts, but we haven't found any mantra or remedy that can summarize everything in one line. Please think for yourself how big scriptures and esteemed texts can be contained in just one line. Upon hearing this, the merchant was disappointed, and he started looking for someone who could help him with his problem. He went from town to town, discussing his dilemma with people. One day, someone advised him, you should go to the Magath kingdom. There is a sage living there who is renowned for solving people's problems. Your troubles will surely find a solution there. The sage's reputation had spread far and wide, and anyone who went to him with their problems found a resolution. The merchant decided to follow this advice. The next day, he set out for the Magath kingdom and eventually reached the sage's abode. The sage was sitting under a tree outside his cottage. Upon seeing the merchant, the sage opened his eyes, and the merchant respectfully greeted him. After paying his respects, the merchant shared all his problems with the sage. Listening to the merchant's troubles, the sage said, Look, I don't have any mantra for this, nor have I ever thought about it because I don't need all this knowledge. 
But there must be a way. If it doesn't work for you, it's okay. The merchant was disheartened by this response, but he still didn't want to return disappointed. Then the sage told him, my guru once gave me an amulet, inside this you will find two scrolls, one red and one white and he said that if you ever find yourself in great difficulty and feel like there's no way out, that time open the white scroll and that there is a mantra which will remove you out of that situation. And when you think that you have achieved everything in your life, when you feel that you have gained everything in life and there's nothing left, that's when you should open this red scroll. After this, the sage said to him that he had never used this amulet before because he had never faced such a situation in his life. So, the sage told him to take the amulet, and maybe it could be of use to him. The merchant hesitated but eventually took the amulet, then the merchant returned to his city. Time passed, and many years went by he continued with his life, which was going smoothly. Occasionally, minor problems would arise, but he would overcome them however, whenever a significant issue loomed in front of him, he would remember the amulet and he thought about opening it. Then he remembered the sage words he had to open the amulet only when he faced a very big problem in his life thinking about it he never opened the amulet. He feared that if he opened it too soon, the power of the amulet might diminish, and the given mantra wouldn't work. Then he would stop and continue with his work. Time passed, and he didn't realize how quickly time changed. Time never stops, it always keeps moving, and one can't predict when it will be good or bad. After light comes darkness, and after darkness comes light. The situation is never constant. His life was going well, but then his business started suffering a huge loss. His entire business collapsed, and he had nothing left. His house caught fire, and he tried his best to extinguish the fire but failed. His house, along with his wife and children, was reduced to ashes. He was completely devastated, and he asked the traders who used to buy goods from him for help, but they refused, as it is said that when times are tough, people usually leave their own first. Just like that, the traders abandoned him. The merchant was very sad and disheartened. Everything he had was gone, and he had no hope left. He thought about going to the river and jumping in to end his life that time he remembered the amulet given to him by the sage. He remembered what the sage had told him, when the worst of times arrives, that's when you should open it. So, the merchant decided to open the amulet. Inside, there were two scrolls, just as the sage had mentioned. He opened the white scroll because he was currently facing difficulties. The sage had also advised him to open the white scroll when he was in great distress. As he unfolded the amulet and read the text, a smile appeared on his face. What was written on the scroll made perfect sense to him. It said, this too shall pass. After reading this mantra, the merchant found peace. It filled him with new energy as if he had been given a fresh start in life. He returned to his town with joy and started his business once more. Gradually, his business began to flourish again, and this time, he became even wealthier. Those traders who had abandoned him earlier came back to him, realizing their mistake. His business expanded to different cities, and he became immensely prosperous. He even remarried and had children. Now, there was nothing left that he needed to acquire. When he felt like he had gained everything in life and had no desires left, he remembered the amulet hanging around his neck, the one the sage had told him to open when he believed he had achieved everything in life and desired nothing more. So, the merchant removed the amulet from his neck and carefully opened the red scroll. When he read what was written on it, his face turned sad. The words on the scroll said, this too shall pass. The merchant became sad after reading the scroll. He was now completely content with his life, and he understood the true meaning of his entire journey. All the scriptures and knowledge of the Upanishads were summed up in just one line, this too shall pass. Friends, whenever we face hardships in life, remember these words. When things don't go our way, we often feel disappointed and can't see a way forward. But in such situations, if a person thinks that this, too, shall pass, they can find the strength to overcome any obstacle. Believing in the passage of time, 
they start their life anew and achieve success. However, when we achieve success, sometimes we become proud and arrogant. It's crucial to remember that time is ever moving, and our ego should not become overwhelming. Time never stops for anyone, it keeps moving forward. In life, we experience both happiness and sorrow, and this is the natural order of things. Nothing can stay the same forever, it all changes with time. One can never predict when their fortune will change. Therefore, it's essential not to be arrogant because winning once doesn't guarantee victory forever. Pride can be our worst enemy, making us believe false things about ourselves. So, always keep control over your ego, and when you face defeat, rise again, and start a new chapter in your life. You can transform your defeats into victories with hard work and determination. Don't let failures break your spirit. In the end, I want to say that life is impermanent, and we don't take anything with us when we leave this world. Everything eventually fades away, and it takes a long time to understand these truths. How did you find this story? Please let us know in the comments. Stay blissful until the next story. Thank you.